Hey guys, welcome to your kickboxing and upper body strength workout. We are going to be um, doing a couple rounds of a strength exercise, followed by two rounds of a cardio kickboxing move. It's going to be fun. It's going to get sweaty really fast. I'm going to be using anything between 8 pounds and 15 pounds today. I've got my 8s, 10s, and 15s. I anticipate using mostly my 10s. So grab your dumbbells, grab some water, and let's get warmed up. All right, my friends, we're gonna start with a quick warm up. Go ahead and swing those arms. Just trying to open up the chest and warm up the upper back. We, like I said, we're gonna do 45 seconds of a strength training move, uh, two rounds, and then we'll follow that with two rounds of cardio kickboxing. Good, go ahead and push forward as you squat down and then squeeze the shoulder blades together. Again, push and then squeeze your shoulder blades together. Like you're trying to squeeze something in between them. Something very small, like a penny, right? Squeeze, warm up that upper back and open up the chest. Push forward, pull back. Good. We do have some kicks today. So we're gonna kind of widen our stance here and just rock it side to side. Our warm-up is gonna be pretty quick here. So if you need more than this, you can take a little bit longer to get warmed up. Good, from here, I'm gonna straighten the legs out and just walk from one foot to the other, up, back down the opposite way. Again, just trying to get everything loose. We've got some push kicks. We're gonna want those hamstrings to be loosened up. Those hips to be open and warm. A couple more. Back up. Meet me in center here. Take one hand, grab the outside of the foot and just kind of pulse here for a second. I'm trying to stretch through this lat here. And switch sides, pulse, pulse. I just want my lats to be nice and loose as they do a lot of work when it comes to boxing. Good, switching sides again. And then meet me in center, hang for just a second. And heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, all the way in. Roll it all the way up. And then we're gonna roll it down, walk it out to plank. So roll down, and then walk it out to plank, and walk it back up. Good, roll it up, shoulders back and down. Again, roll it out. Walk it out to plank. This time we're gonna add a push-up all the way down and up. You can always drop to your knees for the push-ups, whatever feels best for you. Good, roll all the way down. This time we're gonna add an upward facing dog. So we're here, just drop those hips, control, and right back up. Roll it up, shoulders back and down. One more, just out to plank all the way out and right back up roll it up nice and slow shoulders back and down we are going to jog in place here kind of like a boxer shuffle we're going to bring those hands up in front of our face to kind of hold our guard block the uh money maker here just jogging in place you'll notice i've turned into more of a boxing stance here, right? So I've got my front leg here. That's also my jab side. So what we're gonna do is now throw a punch. <sighs> Everything we do today, we're gonna do from a righty stance and a lefty stance. So we're warming up our shoulders right now and getting that heart rate up, breathing rate up. Good, go ahead and switch stances now. Throw that jab on the other arm. <sighs> We have lots of jabs today, <sighs> lots of punches, a few kicks, a few knees. Good switch it here, jumping jacks. And we've got some jumping jacks today. <sighs> All right, guys, we are feeling warm and we are ready to work out. All right, my friends, first exercise is down on the ground. We're gonna do a lat pullover or a dumbbell pullover. I'm gonna use my 10 pounders for this. I'm gonna come all the way down, 
I'm gonna press my dumbbells together and then I'm gonna drop them back in behind me and then control them up. I'm using my lats. I'm not arching through the back. Here we go. It is only a slight bend in the elbow. Control back and up. Using those lats. Where are your lats? That is the area that women always complain about that hangs over their bra strap, right? Your lat is right there. Control, breathe. You've got about 10 seconds left here. Keep those shoulders um, away from your ears, so don't let them shrug up. Last five, three, rest. Good, we're coming up. We have a lateral raise. I'm gonna grab my eight pounds and we're gonna go right into it in three. Here we go. We are quick paced today, right? We're moving quickly, minimal rest. This is how we're gonna get this workout done in under 30 minutes. Control. Shoulders uh, stay down away from your ears. Think shoulder blades into your back pockets. Chest is proud. No popping, clicking in the shoulders. If you are, I want you to reset and try again. If you're still clicking, lower the weight. Recheck the movement. Eight more seconds, and we are going to do a jab, cross, and a push kick. Two. Rest, we got a jab, cross, push kick right here. Jab, cross, push kick. Here we go, nice and quick. Jab, cross, push kick. That back leg is the one that's kicking. Push a person away from you, boom. Snap those punches. Halfway, and then we're gonna switch stances. Five, woo, two, rest. All right, so now opposite legs in front. This is my new jab arm. Cross, back leg push kick. Here we go. Jab, cross, yes. Make some noise with me. Exhale with every punch and kick. That way you're not holding your breath. Two. Rest. Back down. Pull over. All the way down. Dumbbells together. Drop it back. Here we go and up. Arms are relatively straight. The uh, hinging motion is coming from the shoulder. The movement's coming from the shoulder, not the elbows. If we're taking it from the elbows, we're gonna be working our triceps. And we're not working our triceps right now. We're working our lats. You got about 15 seconds left. You're doing amazing. Up, last three. Rest, all the way up. Dumbbell lateral raise, come up nice and slow so you don't get lightheaded. Two, here we go. Right out to the side, slight bend in the elbow. We're never locking out our arms. You got 35 seconds left here. Stay in control. You got this. Abs pulled in. Make sure you're not arching through your back. Always double check that form. Constantly checking that form. 
always think about alignment. Always stay aware of the way your body's feeling. If you're like, oh, I'm feeling this in a weird spot. Check your form. Whose dumbbells are getting heavy? Five, three, two, rest. All right, guys, we got a new circuit. Next exercise, we're coming back down onto the ground. We have got a chest press. I'm gonna use my 15 pounds for this entire next circuit. Starting with that chest press, I'm gonna come all the way down onto the ground. Of course, if you have a bench or something to lay on, go for it, you can use it. I'm just gonna use the ground because I feel like most of us have got a ground, right? So I'm coming all the way down. And in eight seconds, we're gonna drop the elbows down to the sides and press up. In three, two, one, here we go. Dropping down, pressing up. Focus on using your chest. Mind-body connection. Control. Think inhale on the way down. Exhale to press it up. You always wanna think you're exhaling at the hardest part of a movement. We are just about halfway here. Again, focus, mind-body connection. Use the chest. <sighs> 10 more seconds here, guys. Abs stay pulled in. <sighs> Got a little shake. Two, rest. We're coming up. We're gonna row those dumbbells up keep them there and drop one at a time. Here we go. We're down, row them up. Drop one, bring it back up. Drop the other, bring it back up. Keep the dumbbells at your hip, right? So I'm staying at hip level. I'm not trying to roll them up into my armpits. Shoulder blades stay back and down. Upper back is firing. My glutes are also firing. They are doing that support work. So this hinge doesn't take um, a toll on my lower back. So drive through those heels. Get your glutes to do a little work with us. Five more seconds and we are doing a jab, cross, hook, hook, knee, push kick. We got a lot to think about, all right? Think. Jab, cross, hook, hook, knee, push kick. Stick with me. Jab, cross, hook, hook, knee, push. Good. It's not a race. Jab, cross, hook, hook, knee, push. Jab, cross, hook, hook, knee, push. He's down. Two. All right, we're switching stances. You gotta do all of that now. On the other side, jab, cross, hook, hook, knee, push, here we go. We got it. We're over halfway. Jab, cross, hook, hook, knee, push kick. Jab, cross, hook, hook, knee, push kick. Rest, back down. We got that chest press. Here we go, drop them down and up. Keep going, guys. I know we got a minimal rest. We're working your brain, your coordination, but hey, it's good, right? Working your nervous system as well. Now you'll be mentally exhausted too. 18 seconds, guys, keep pushing. We've got one more complicated um, kickboxing circuit after this. 
And then we're gonna move more into a burn. Two. Good, up for that row. How's your hair? Does your hair look like mine? Amazing. We go in two. Okay, row it up to the hip. Drop one at a time, right back up. Let it slide alongside your body. Shoulder blades are sitting in your back pockets. Think back and down. Back is nice and flat. Control the movement. Control your breathing. Fifteen more seconds here, guys. Eight seconds. Five. Two. Yes! All right, we are moving on. All right, guys, next exercise is a tricep kickback. I'm gonna use my eight pounds for this as I can already feel my triceps right now. So we're just gonna hinge over at the hips. Kick back, simple as that. Uh, working those triceps. We're gonna keep the dumbbells rowed up at our hip just like we did for that row. And we're just moving from the elbow. We're not gonna take it into the bicep. We go in three, two, one. Here we go, row them up and kick it back. Breathe, exhale as you push those dumbbells out. And then inhale as you bring them in. Slow, controlled. If you are looking for more of a challenge, explode them out and then bring them in nice and slow. Slowly in, push them out, slowly in. You do uh, whatever pace feels best for you. Right now, every day is a little different, right? Work in the back of the arm. 10 more seconds, and we're gonna go into a bicep curl, hammer curl, combo, three. Oh my, triceps, rest. All right, I'm gonna grab my 10s for this one. We're going to curl it up, palms facing forward, come down, rotate, palms face in. Here we go, curl it up, down, now rotate, palms face each other. Curl, switch, curl, and switch. Curl, woo! We got this, guys. 30 more seconds. Then we're gonna move into our kickboxing combo, which is a jab, cross, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut, to a sprawl, right? We're gonna pretend we got knocked down by our boxing partner, and we're gonna have to get back up and keep fighting. 10, eight, we're almost done guys. Keep pushing through, hello biceps, two, rest, jab, cross, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut, drop it down, jab, cross, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut, fall, here we go, jab, cross, hook, hook, boom, boom, down, back up, Jab, cross, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut, fall. Three. Good. If you want to, we'll switch stances. Otherwise, just do that again. I'm gonna try. Here we go. Jab, cross, hook, hook, whoa, that's hard. Down. Up, jab, cross, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Way harder on your non-dominant side. Almost done. Woo! All right, triceps. Kick back in three, 
Here we go. Even if you were flailing all over the place just now, your heart rate is up and that's what we wanted. Right? You're halfway here. Keep going, my friends. You've got 10 seconds left. Eight, five, three, two, and rest. All right, we've got that bicep hammer curl combo. We go in three. Woo, fast pace. Curl, rotate the palms. Curl again. Switch, curl. We are doing so good. We only have two circuits after this. And don't worry, the really complicated stuff is out of the way. We're moving into that more of a, that burnout zone which is exhausting, but less coordina uh, coordination involved. God, I can't even say coordination. Coordination. Eight, seven, oh my biceps. Three, two, ah, rest guys. All right guys, next exercise. We've got a single arm row. We're gonna do, for the first interval, one side, and then the next interval, we'll do the other side. So I'm going to grab my 15 pounder and I'm going to get myself into a long lunge here so I can rest the opposite um, forearm on, the, uh, on that leg that's in front. All right, we go, we're falling over. We go in five seconds. So get ready, two, one, here we go. Again, you're rowing to your hip just like before. slow and controlled, pressing through the heel of the leg that's in front, right? Abs are pulled in. With every rep, I want you to pull that shoulder blade, slide it into your back pocket. You got 20 seconds left here. Really focus on that upper back. Use that lat too. Hold it up there for a second. Really focus on that contraction. <sighs> Sexy back muscles coming in. Three, two, rest. All we're doing is switching to the other side. <sighs> Not much thinking going on now, right? Here we go, row it up. Other side is now working. Pulling the abs in. Pressing through the heel of that leg that's in front. Staying active through the, throughout the entire body. <sighs> Don't let your head fall. Stay aware. Stay in alignment. <sighs> Holding it up there for a second. <sighs> 15 seconds, guys. Rowing to that hip, not to your armpit. Five, three, two, rest. All right, put the dumbbell aside. All we're gonna do is drive our knee rhythmically, okay? Knee, knee, opposite, opposite. Here we go. I want you to pretend you got somebody by the head, right? And we're gonna just shove his face into our knee, over and over. This is a bad guy. Point that toe down. Eight seconds. Five, three, rest. We're doing that one more time. Catch your breath here. Pull the hairs out of your mouth. <laughs> Two. Here we go, grab it. <sighs> 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 
Find a rhythm. Don't forget to breathe. 20 seconds. Breathing, guys. Five, three, two, rest. All right, we're going back to the row. In three, here we go. Row it up. Row. Beautiful. Stay active through that entire body. Stay focused. If you need to zone out, you can, but I want you to stay aware of your form and everything that's going on so you don't get sloppy. 10 seconds, right to the hip, five, two, rest, we switch sides, in five, two, here we go, row it up to the hip, 40 seconds here. We got this. We have one circuit left after this. And then we're really gonna burn the shoulders out. 25 seconds, guys. Stay present. Stay in alignment. Smile. Because it's almost over, 10 seconds. Five, three, yes, one circuit left. All right, guys, last circuit. We have a curl and a press. So I'm going to take my lighter dumbbells, my lightest dumbbells here, and I'm going to curl up, let me show you here, palms facing forward, regular bicep curl, and then I will rotate to press overhead, rotate to bring it back down, curl, press, so that's an Arnold press from palms facing in. They rotate, they'll be facing forward when you're at the top of that rep. Here we go, curl, rotate to press, back down, Yes, curl, rotate to press. I want you to make sure those shoulders aren't shrugging up, right? So keep them down and away from your ears. When you're at the top of that rep, those biceps should be right next to your ears, not up out in front, but right next to your ears. Engaging your lats to keep those shoulders down. 15 more seconds here, hello. Shoulder burn, 10, five, almost done. We got time for one more, two, rest. Yay, okay, now I'm gonna take my 15 pounder and I'm gonna hold it up overhead. I'm gonna grab it right here. We're gonna extend, working those triceps up and extend, be sure that lower back isn't arched like crazy, right? Tuck the pelvis in, <sighs> engage the abs, squeeze the glutes. Don't like overly squeeze your glutes. Oh my God, this is going to kill my triceps today. <sighs> my triceps might not be working tomorrow. 20, my triceps are like babies. They cannot handle much stress at all. 10 seconds left, almost done, squeeze, three, rest, good, we are going to do 10 jab cross above the head, followed by two jumping jacks, here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, Jack, let's go over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Jack, Jack, again. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jack, Jack, good. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jack, Jack, ten seconds. Again. Jack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Go. Three, two, rest. We're doing that one more time. That felt like a long 30 seconds, didn't it not? Franny's going crazy. Franny, come here. Again, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Jack, Jack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jack, Jack, how are the shoulders? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jack, Jack, woo! Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jack, Jack, woo! Four, five, six, ten. Jack, Jack, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, my gosh. Good. Curl, press. And we're almost done. Here we go. Curl, rotate to press. Back down. How's it going, my friends? Are you alive? I am barely kicking right now. I am definitely gonna have to drop my weight for that tricep extension. 25 seconds, curl, press, curl. 15 seconds, guys. Stay aware, keep those shoulders down. Don't let them shrug up. Biceps right next to your ears. Five, three, rest. All right, I'm gonna use one of my tens for this last circuit. Up overhead, here we go. Extend. Remember, try not to arch through that back. This is it, guys. Once we're finished with this, we'll do a quick stretch and you are done with your workout. Why is 10 pounds killing my triceps? <laughs> I swear, I, my triceps are like one of the weakest part of me. 20. <sighs> Probably has something to do with my shoulder injury. <sighs> Pushing through it, guys. 10. Watch that arch in the back. <sighs> Five. Three, and rest. You did it, guys. Just let those arms shake out for a second. Let them go a little bit jello-y. When you're good and ready, we're just gonna bring one arm, bring it across. Good, go ahead and switch. This is a really brief stretch. So if you need to stretch more, go ahead and do it. Good, let's bring it back and behind. Get the triceps because ouch, right? Breathing. Good, switch sides. Again, I'm not taking a bunch of time here. You guys can stretch more on your own as always. Good, find a wall, doorway, something you can put your hand against and we'll rotate, turn away from the wall, stretch through that chest. Oh, that feels amazing. This is my favorite stretch. Good, we're switching sides. Just turn around, face the other way. Unless, of course, you have a doorway, you can do both at the same time and it's amazing. Anytime I walk through a doorway, I'm like, yes, stretch. All right, you guys, that is it for us today. You did awesome. I love you and I will see you tomorrow.